Regenerating Spaceship Earth, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 526. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. Uh, this is our April 23rd, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is regenerating spaceship Earth. Everything you see happening in the background of the video here are our plans for regenerating spaceship Earth, our sustainable models covering food, energy, housing, what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, education, economics, and true Earth stewardship. Now, if you're not familiar with the concept of spaceship Earth, this was created by a brilliant inventor and futurist named Buckminster Fuller. And he coined the term spaceship Earth because we are living on this one planet that is hurtling through space like a spaceship. We are all sharing the resources here and we depend on those resources for all life. What that's on this planet, like a spaceship, uh, is a spaceship with finite resources uh, and, and uh, there is no planet B. You know, and so Buckminster Fuller was way ahead of his time in that he saw a world that worked for everyone. He saw the ability to raise the standard of living for everyone and to create a world that supported our species for, for generations to come without any problems. But uh, here we are, living on this planet, clear cutting the rainforests, we're poisoning the oceans, we are increasing desertification, we're destroying topsoil, we're spraying poison on our food, we're building houses with toxic and toxic materials that cause cancer, you know, we're still using fossil fuels that are polluting our oceans and putting lead and mercury into the air and that are causing uh, all kinds of birth defects and brain development problems and they're just terrible for us and we're mass producing plastic you know so what the heck is going on like if we have the ability to regenerate spaceship earth why the hell haven't we done it yet you know and the answer is band-aids versus solutions like we've been putting band-aids on these problems when it's really a systemic issue and we need a systemic solution you know, we need a comprehensive model that will address all of these challenges simultaneously and provide a way of living for people that's better than the way that they're living right now, you know, that they can implement and with easy, easy to replicate step by step, you know, instructions so people know exactly how much it's going to cost and exactly how much it's, how much time it's going to take, exactly what the end result is going to look like. Ultimately, we need to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and design something attractive enough to spread its own. And if we do that, like, we can grow food that's more diverse and nutritious than what people are buying in the grocery store right now, you know, and fresher. We can produce all of our energy from renewable means and eliminate the toxins in our building environments. We can, can build houses that are more artistic and beautiful and will last for hundreds of years instead of constantly needing to be repaired, you know, and destroyed by natural disasters. They're more resistant to natural disasters. They'll last longer. They're more beautiful and artistic. You know, we can create a culture of growth and contribution as a living environment, you know, and high school education, economics, the true stewardship, like our organization is developing all these because we have the ability to create a way of life that is far better than the way that people are living right now. And so why haven't we? I said band-aids versus solutions, but it's like, wait a minute, if this idea of band-aids versus solutions, we already know that we need a comprehensive solution. What's different now from in the past? Like what what is so special about now that makes this possible? And the answer is the internet revolution. 
We have the ability now, unlike any other time in history, to bring together the people of the world to work on solutions for all of these different components and to open source and free share those solutions, unlike any other time in the world, to bring together a global cooperation, a global collaborative of people interested in a world that works for everybody, and to create that and to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to spread on its own. You know, Buckminster Fuller spoke around the world about this idea of Spaceship Earth and why we need to take care of it. But still, the number of people globally that really knew what it is that he was talking about and understood what, what was possible was minuscule. His ability to spread his message, even though he was very famous at the time, was still really limited to the United States and a few other countries. You know, he did not have the ability to reach a global audience, and he didn't have what he needed to be able to to make it open source and replicate it. He didn't have, you know, there was no marketing engine that he could create. There was no way for him to get the word out and to create a self-replicating system. You know, and not only that, the technology had, I mean, computers weren't invented yet, you know, to the level that they are now. Just the very basics at the beginning of this idea was starting to spread, but, you know, renewable energy was still in its infancy, you know. And so now we have the ability, these building technologies, these food technologies, you know, the energy technologies, the fulfilled living models and what we're capable of in that area as well, the education models that we've designed, we have the ability to put all these things together in one place, and to create a teacher demonstration hub model and open source and free share that, and this is exactly what we're doing. You know, we are making easy to follow DIY instructions for all aspects of sustainable living. We're making them, you know, amazingly simple, really, you know, as simple as we're capable of with the idea that if we can make them easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate these ideas as attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own. And we're making them as individual components that can be put together as the complete teacher demonstration hub, but can also be replicated and created as individual components. So for people that aren't interested in this complete idea of a comprehensive model, they have something as well. Our goal is to build something for everyone, you know, and so, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this is our idea. <laughs> I just choked. This is our idea for regenerating Spaceship Earth, is to create open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects, <clears throat> all aspects of highest good living and to open source and free share it as well as open sourcing and free sharing the process for open sourcing and free sharing it. So we're building the web infrastructure. We're creating open source software for coordinating and collaborating it all so that we can not only open source all of our designs, but also open source and promote the evolutions and the additional iterations of those designs that other people will create as these designs are implemented around the world in all the different areas. You know, so regenerating all aspects of Spaceship Earth, not just the United States, not just one climate, but all climates. You know, increasing biodiversity, you know, building ecosystems, recognizing that we are the keystone, the ultimate keystone species. We are the one species that's capable of stewarding this entire process of regenerating Spaceship Earth, and now is the time to do it. It's time to bring people together. Like, it's never been easier to do it than it is right now, and it's still a crap ton of work, and we're doing that work. We've had over 700 volunteers contribute to the project so far. We've had uh, volunteers from 55 different countries around the world, and we've become the number one global sustainability systems company in the world creating this, creating these systems Bring together an all-volunteer team, a non-profit organization, a non-governmental organization, creating this because we want to live this way, creating this because we know that if we can demonstrate this way of living as, as better than the way that most people are living right now and teach people exactly how to achieve this and make it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to spread on its own, that we can generate regenerate Spaceship Earth within our lifetime. Like, we can create a sustainable world, we can create a sustainable civilization, and it will benefit all of us, you know? All of us, all the people we care about. It will benefit our friends, our family, our children, our grandchildren, our great-great-grandchildren, our great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandchildren's grandchildren. Like, now is the time, you know? And so, 
this is what our organization has been up to. And, uh, you know, if this is interesting, is this something that you like? If this is something that you'd like to be a part of and follow our progress, like visit our website and see what it is that we've been up to and how we're doing this. You know, subscribe if you'd like to get our weekly progress updates. We send out one email a week with our weekly progress updates. If you're into a, a weekly dose of positivity and world change, um, subscribe. If you'd like the easiest way to support us, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know, watch this video to the end and see, you know, the bullet points on the major components of our project so you support our algorithm. Uh, if you'd like to participate, if you'd like to help out, there's ways that everybody can help out and get involved in what we're doing. Visit our helping page. If you'd like to see exactly what it is that our, our uh, all-volunteer team is accomplishing every single week, and this week specifically, you can visit our weekly progress update blog and see that. It's another reason why I say we're the number one global sustainability systems company in the world. Nobody else has been producing weekly progress updates for over nine years as we open source all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, the in-depth research and everything that we've done on all these different components to create a world that works for everybody. And this is what we're doing, open sourcing all of it. So get involved, watch to the end. Thanks for watching as far as you have. And you know, regenerating Spaceship Earth, it's within our grasp. We have the ability to do this now, within our lifetime. And one community is creating the plans, the step-by-step, easy-to-follow instructions to accomplish exactly that. So thanks for watching until the end. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One Community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.